This is the Luxman T110 FM tuner. Um, I own a, a matching set of this tuner uh, preamp, which is the C1000, and then the uh, power amplifier, which is the M2000. I uh, plan on making a video to kind of uh, feature these three components in this particular uh, stereo design. But before I do that, um, I have this tuner and I've had it in storage for quite a while. I've been using my other T300 tuner, which is both an AM and FM. Um, why haven't I been using this one? Well, it's been pretty darn scratchy. And, um, and you run the dial across the band and uh, it's really, really annoying. So what I've tried to do over the last uh, week is do some research on uh, audiokarma.org and YouTube and um, learn, learn about uh, tuners and how to do some cleaning. So that's what I hope to uh, attack here on this uh, particular video and see if I can restore this, um, this tuner back to its uh, rightful, uh, graceful self. So let's uh, let's take a look inside and see what we can. Okay, do. here you can see the the internals of uh, the T110 uh, FM tuner by Luxman. I've uh, taken the case off, and uh, I've also removed this uh, metal cover over here on this end of the tuner. Uh, a five gang um, <laughs> tuner condenser. That's it. Five gang tuner condenser, so I can gain access to all the different fins. And what I plan to do for uh, this one is actually use a product called uh, uh, CRC Electronic Cleaner. Uh, it's supposed to be better than using, uh, a lot better than using uh, Deoxid D5 because the Deoxid D5 would end up leaving a film on the fins which would interfere and screw up the tuning uh, for this tuner. So what I plan to do is use this electronic cleaner because it's supposed to... Uh, you know, dry, evaporate, not leave uh, any particular film. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also do some some work over here on this side of the tuner. I will use the Deoxid D5 because, for example, the power switch, you can see that. All right. And then we've got a, um, a mono button, similar in nature. You can see it down there working a little bit. Okay. And then uh, a muting button. Same design as the mono button. So I'll go ahead and use the D5, and after that's uh, been cleaned up and deoxidized, I'm gonna use this uh, fader lube. Uh, that will provide some uh, lubrication and connection uh, enhancement, and it's good for switches like these down here that have both metal and plastic connections. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this, uh, this five gang uh, condenser. Um, Clean these switches up a little bit. Maybe use a little uh, iso alcohol over here and clean this up. And you can see the the, the light. Yeah, you can see the light moving back and forth. And I'll try to provide uh, some uh, close-ups of the fins later so you can see inside. And my approach from what I read online is um, to clean those contacts related to the shaft. There's a brass shaft with a slot. Um, cut into it and there's actually five of them and there must be some corrosion or oxidation down there so I hope to uh, clean those uh, surfaces and improve uh, uh, the performance of this uh, tuner because like I say I got this many years ago um, I love it but I also kind of hate it because it's uh, it sounds very scratchy and now that I've spent more time researching and figuring out well maybe I don't need a new tuner I need to go in and try an approach for cleaning it. So I'll go ahead and do the cleaning and put it all back together, take it back up and put it in my uh, stereo cabinet with the uh, corresponding and matching pieces, the uh, M2000 amplifier and the C1000 uh, preamp. And it's a beautiful uh, triple combination in terms of the, of the design. So let me go ahead and see if I can get this a little bit closer we well, can take a look at the uh, the I gang. Zoomed in on one of the uh, five gangs to take a closer look, and I'm rotating the FM tuner dial. You can see the brass shaft uh, rotating with the fins, and then uh, using this pointer over here to the far right, you'll see a shaft. And then you also notice right up at the tip here, there's a piece of metal. Uh, it's there. It's going into the groove as I when I rotate the shaft. Okay. 
So there are five of these. In that contact area, I'm gonna use the uh, CRC QD electronic cleaner and try to um, see if I can get rid of any uh, deposits or oxidation or whatever it might be, and then uh, do that for each one. Well, with our cleaning process, first we're gonna use the Deoxid 5 in red to clean these uh, switches like the power, the monos, and the muting button. And then I'll end up using the uh, fader lube, the F5, and repeat the process to kind of lubricate those parts and uh, provide some protection for all the switches since they're both metal and plastic. All right, uh, taking a look at the back side of those three switches, let's go ahead and use some uh, deoxid. And I'll use this on the power switch, give it a blast or two. And uh, work that particular button back and forth, maybe 20 times. And over here, uh, like the mono button, give it a blast over here. The muting button as well. Uh, let me retract them a little bit. We'll shoot some more in there. Okay. And then, uh, like I say, work, work these buttons back and forth. Um, and I'll repeat this process with the fader loop, but I, I just won't show it during this video. Just save a little bit of time. So there, I've worked uh, three switches and then we'll get on to the five gang. Okay, here we uh, go and uh, make an attempt to use some uh, CRC electric uh, uh, cleaner and work on the five gang uh, assembly there. So basically what I'm gonna try to do is go into the corner where I was showing on the video uh, earlier and give it a light blast and do this in all five of these uh, areas. Like I say, this stuff is not supposed to leave a residue. Again, I've never done this before, so we'll just give it a whirl and you might be able to see if I'm, yeah, you know, see the, the light going back and forth. I'm tu uh, turning the tuning dial to try to rotate the surfaces on that, uh, that shaft and get some, uh, hopefully some uh, oxidation removed through this process. So I'll go ahead and repeat this several times uh, to kind of uh, see if I can make it. Okay, I've placed the T110 tuner, and again, remember this is an FM tuner only. Placed it back in the rack with some of my other equipment, and let's see if we had some success after using the cleaner. So here's, um, here's the tuner with the uh, muting button off. So tied into everything. The music of a Sounds like a regular radio, but it's not all scratchy and stuff like it used to be. Now with the muting on, dead quiet. USC Locks on really, really quick. This you notice the tuning uh, light uh, will flicker as it uh, loses reception. It's different. And on that Works out really good. So I'm really, really satisfied now, and uh, I'll be able to listen to... Some great stations, primarily jazz and, uh, and classical. So, but anyway, I'm just flicking through here so I don't get in trouble with YouTube. So, hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I'll post some other information down below uh, in the comments section there. So, uh, hope it works for you. Thanks for watching.